Hi, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Domino Dash. Today, we're going to check out the hardest impossible levels list. Uh, I did this like a billion years ago, basically. And since then, there's probably been added like a million more levels. So we're going to be checking it out, uh, try some stuff, and just see what happens. I'm probably going to mostly look at like the lower end of the list, where things are actually like humanly playable, because stuff like Ballistic Wistfully, which, oh, wait, Ballistic Wistfully is number, number two now? I did not know that. Uh, anyway, as I said, Ballistic Wistfully, um, has, it, it, it's not actually possible. It has, like, humanly possible gameplay from the very start. I want to see if we can do, like, humanly possible stuff. This level somehow has a world record of 49%, even though... It's number seven. I want to check that out. So we're going to be checking out a lot of like different um, levels, maybe check some videos out. But for the most part, I do want to go down here to where stuff like a grandpa demon sounds kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Uh, extended list. Why are, where are things? Yeah, where are the things that I actually know? Let's scroll down to the bottom. Oh, there's a mega interface. The unnerfed one. That's a thing. There's firework. So here's where stuff happens. Omega interface would have been third, apparently. Then we have slaughterhouse, the coupon circles. Okay, so here's the things that that actually like exist. So <laughs> down in the 300s. I want to check out the video of this one real quick because it's interesting that it's number seven and it has a record of almost 50%. This looks actually kind of manageable. Like this doesn't look too hard, and I'm assuming that once you get to 50%, it just goes absolute ape shit. Also, this is really short. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. That does look pretty, pretty challenging. Huh, okay. That was, that was way more reasonable than I thought it was going to be. I want to see what happens afterwards, though. Okay, so yeah, this is where the level goes absolutely apeshit. Yeah, no, that, that yeah, yeah, no, that is more or less exactly what I was expecting from an impossible level. That's number seven on the list. Oh, that's why it's so hard. That's a dual wave. That is two player. Got it. Okay. No, see, this level was reasonable. This level was reasonable. And then that happened. Anyway, to the stars by Aeon Air. That's my level. Haha, <laughs> isn't that cool? <laughs> my level is the 714th most impossible level in the game. Let's like go up into this region. What is Sonic Wave V2? We're gonna check out Sonic Wave V2 just because it sounds stupid. I just need to open my game first. Sonic Wave V2 looks like it's under Aquatic Aurora is the unnerfed one. So we're gonna do we're gonna do this and we're gonna search up Sonic Wave V2 by Tom Scott. Love it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go into practice mode. Okay, so that's how you do it. So you have to like do that. This is almost worse than the first Sonic Wave click, which is impressive. I'm not gonna lie. That is an awful click. Jesus Christ. I'm very impressed. I did not think it was possible to take Sonic Wave and make it worse. That click just doesn't work. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. We'll go and check out the wave. Just see what. Let's just see what it is, right? Let's just take a look at what it what it what it's like. So basically what I'm getting at by looking at this is that this is quite literally just where are the things here? Okay, then you go there. Go between that. Oh, please. This is awful. Why are there spikes here? Those structures were never in Sonic Wave. Help. Okay, this this is this is quite this is quite hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. This right here. This little spam here is pretty funny. Is there a, is there a version of Element 111 RG that's out? Considering the fact that uh, KPG Dylan has a thing here. Oh, it's on the Compendium account. Is this the one that the Stormflying Gang managed to s salvage? I'm assuming it is. I have no clue what I was dying to there. Like genuinely zero clue. What the hell are these jumps, dude? Uh, this is a lot harder than I expected it to be. I don't know why I did not expect this to be like the most dumb shit ever, but I didn't. And I did not expect it to be this. I don't really have anything to say. This is just very stupid so far. I don't know what I expected from Element 111 RG, but I definitely did not expect this. Like, I, I was just expecting, like, regular old, stupid old gameplay, but this is, like, actually genuinely really hard. And I did not really think that I would say this, but this feels really dumb and really difficult. I 
I think this is where I draw the line. I can't get past this, sh this drop in the ship. Uh, that's an interesting level. A uh, KPG Dylan somehow has like 24. Yeah, he has 22%. Let's go check that out because that is actually impressive. Oh, that's like three days ago. Damn. That is extremely impressive. God damn. Let's peek into um, innards, the old impossible version of it, uh, except that I don't even know where to find the level. One thing I do wish that this had was a was like, I, I wish they had ideas for the level so that it would be easier to find. Let's go to Cincy's account and play unnerved innards. I've eaten innards. So this is all that I think is really, really cool. But obviously the level's hard as balls. So yeah, uh, this is, can I even make this jump? Is this like even properly aligned for 280 FPS? Okay, it, it works at least. Ah, uh, no. I mean, I got to here. I think I could get like decently far into this. I just have to like somehow get good enough at the uh, first couple clicks, which feels impossible. This UFO always like stuck out to me. I don't know why, but this UFO always like, I just always really liked it for some reason. Ooh, that was close. I passed it. I did it. This is a surprisingly easy wave. I did not, I, I always thought that this wave was like super hard, but even in like the unearthed, this is not really that bad. I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to try and see if I can pass this wave. I know it sounds like a really dumb thing, but it would be really cool to try. I don't know why I did that. That was a very silly. Oh, that was so close. Oh no. That was ridiculously, uh, I thought I had it. No, I thought I, I thought I had it there. There we go. I did it. Oh my God. Yes. I passed the wave. I'm so satisfied with myself. Anyway, I'm <laughs> moving on. It's interesting how they th say that a uh, current abyss of darkness is so much higher up than slaughterhouse slaughterhouse is 357 while abyss of darkness is 331 that's quite the big jump let's try old blade of justice by rico wait rico has 14 creator points what since when what levels does he have that's rated rico has what <laughs> since when <laughs> that's really funny anyway this is a hard first jump what is it with impossible first jumps? That's like always the thing I feel like. Okay, I passed the I passed the impossible blue orb. Okay. Oh, dude. I forgot how obnoxious the the robot is in this level. I oh, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I never liked Blade of Justice too much, and a lot of it is because of this first robot. Like, I beat the level, don't get me wrong. I thought it was an okay experience, but, like, this first robot is really just a buzzkill. Do I have to jump? You don't have to jump in the normal one. I do have to jump. Okay. That is hard. Oh, it's this. It's not the, the, the current thing that we have. Okay. Interesting. So this is your straight flight challenge. Okay, I kind of, I, 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 I've gotten somewhere. I don't know how I did that, like, first attempt, basically. That was kind of crazy. Like, I, I just, like, randomly did, like, really hard stuff. Like, first try. Never happens. I normally take, like, a billion times to get anywhere with anything. This is giving me hard machine PTSD. Help. Why this randomly really hard wave click? That's one thing I always found very interesting about, like, old impossible levels is that, for some reason, they just randomly become, like, the hardest thing ever. <laughs> Look at my wave. It's the wrong way. That's funny. I want to see if I can do this, this, this ship.
Okay, let's try this wave. This is like the infamous wave. This is not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Like, obviously it's hard, right? It's really tight. But I always just assumed that this was going to be like the hardest wave ever created. But these gaps are like really manageable. Maybe we've just evolved that much as a wave species that waves that were once considered impossible just aren't that impossible anymore. Okay, this is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, this is like really difficult. I like how the world record for Orochi is 9%. That's kind of funny. I wish I could find an, uh, I wish I could find like an ID for this though, because I would really like to like try it out. <laughs> Minecraft by Mojang, that's, that, that's funny. That's hilarious actually. Let's try Old Tartarus. It's on Compendium. And with doing Old Tartarus, I think that's gonna be the last level that we're checking out. Uh, If I can find it even, it's probably like a million years old. Where is it? There we go, Tartarus. Let's give it a shot. Very nice. Good job, Aeon. You're good. This is very interesting because this is so different to what Tartarus is now, right? Ah, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be actually. And here comes the, the parts of Tartars that we know and love. The terrible UFO. <laughs> I don't actually know how to do this maze, so excuse me while I struggle mindlessly trying to pass this. Do I just kind of like, that is a terrible transition. Like the only reason that's like hard is the transition. This transition is god awful. What kills me here? We hit that. Okay, so that's just a hold. So that's like pretty easy. Oh, and then we have a silent club step style duel, it seems. How does this even work? Oh, I did it. That must have been like near frame perfect. It was just that duel like five times in a row. It was very uninteresting, but it was kind of, it was a little bit funny, I will admit, but that duel just five or that exact same duel click pattern like five times in a row is kind of uninteresting. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Riot and Gang could have done a little bit better with that, but it's whatever. I can't straight ball, help. I'm having like, I don't know what it is about just start positions in my life. I just, for some reason, I, if I have to redo something, I'm just terrible at it and I'll fail like a thousand times. And then randomly I'll have like one like insane thing happen. I'm currently like hard stuck on this because for some reason my brain can't allow me to hit the pink or the, the yellow orb properly. The only parts about this that I'm not like a huge fan of so far is the fact that some of the th these things just don't seem to work. This is the weirdest gameplay I think I've ever tried in my entire life. What is this? I have no clue how to do this. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. I have genuinely zero idea. I think that is a good place to end. That was interesting. I played these for a while. It was fun. I had a good time. We checked out some impossible levels, uh, old impossible levels, and it was overall a good time. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, check out the list. I'm gonna link it to the in the description for those of you who wanna check it out for yourself. I'll see you guys around. Eat your green, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Thank you for making my day, but I hope it was a little bit better too. Peace out, everyone.